congratulations for, the, for receiving the Icon Award. That is great. Isn't that something? I'm so chuffed. I, I tell you, I have to keep polishing, <laughs> keep polishing it to make sure it's not a dream. No, it's real. Where will it? Where will it end up? It's going to end up pride of place, somewhere. <laughs> Well, it looks very well. Were you surprised to, to receive the call? Oh, I, absolutely. I, I'm, I'm still surprised now. You know, the, the, it's one of those things you think, you know, they emailed me to say uh, they'd chosen me for this, you know, and I'm so grateful to Nordoff and Robbins, uh, Silver Cleft Committee, for doing that. Because, there, I mean, there are just so many people that rank as icons, I think, sort of far far worthier than I but nonetheless I, I'm you know they've chosen me so I accept it and I accept it as uh, a bass guitarist because I don't think there have been too many bass guitarists that have got this award so yeah. one for the bass players excellent and and your particular style of bass playing as well you... yeah I do have a, a you know a recognizable style it's it's not unique anymore but you know when when I started out when I started out with level 42 and with Mike and Phil and Boone and we were just young lads not knowing where we were going to end up you know that 43 years later and to still be working with the band is just an amazing thing and and it's primarily because we believed in the music we made and you know, uh, though advice is you should always take with a pinch of salt. Any advice I would give to a, a young up-and-coming musician would be: you, you have to love what you do. You know, don't try and make music that you think other people would like. You make music that makes you happy, and you'll make the best music. And does it still make you happy? Yeah, That's I love same it. Same as ever did. Uh, oh, more than ever, really. You know, I, I feel so, so blessed and privileged to be able to do it. And your particular style, so sort of. The, there's, there's not many people that sort of play play the bass in that way, really. Is it? Well, you know, I, it's something that I I just love doing, and I find it quite easy to do because uh, otherwise I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't bother. I don't like to work too hard at anything, so this sort of just feels right to me. And fortunately, lots of people like it, so it's win-win. Excellent. And um, musically, what, what have we got coming up? Like any any new material? Uh, the well, new material isn't something that I felt the the urge or the the need to to do because we have such a big back catalogue over the last 40 odd years um, that I know that when we tour and we're touring again in October and November yeah. uh, we're playing festivals already we're in the festival season now um, that the the audience that come and see us really want to hear the you know the hits that they know and love and you know we can spice it up there's no shortage of material to play for so I'm not really up for chucking in new compositions just because I want to do it. I'm really, really happy playing the songs that people like and want to hear from us. Excellent. Well, I'm sure everyone's going to be very happy to hear that. Thank you. And are you, are you, uh, have you seen the, sort of the power of Nordal from Robbins? Sort of oh, for sure. In yeah, it, it's, a, it, it's an incredible organisation. Been running for longer than Level 42 has, um, <laughs> you know, and they've done just incredible work. And what, what what sort of resonates with me personally is the fact that it's it's about communication through music yeah, with, yeah, yeah. with people with all kinds of life challenging uh, problems you know and children adults alike and it can be from trauma accidents uh, physical disabilities depression there's a, all, all kinds of problems that music can cut through you know that I think that on the BBC recently we saw the uh, you know the elderly man that, that suffers from uh, dementia and it, you know and, and he was able to write the most amazing piece of music because I, I don't know if they've figured out yet that I think music is in a part of the brain that is different from where we store other memories it, it has something that, that communicates really really easily and we saw it last weekend at Glastonbury you had 200,000 people in a field and they're all there for one thing 3,000 artists playing music making people happy but communicating and, and it's uh, you know it's an amazing thing so Nordoff and Robbins all power to you excellent I mean the power of music goes on well thanks a lot for your time have, have a wonderful day and congratulations again it started out really well thank Great. you thank you Hello.